أحمد وأصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد فقال عز وجل اذهب إلى فرعون إنه تغى رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفكه قولي آمين يا رب Whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as Allah mentions in Qur'an, that whenever Allah sent messengers, He always sent them to the elite of the people. Muslim as well as non-Muslim. In the case of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, he went to a non-Muslim. In the case of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, he went to a non-Muslim. In the case of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasalam, he went to the elite that were non-Muslims. What about Isa alayhi salatu wasalam? He was from Banu, Is- Banu-, Banu Israel. And لُؤِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا عَلَىٰ لِسَانِ دَعُودَ وَعِيسَ بْنَ مَرْيَمْ Those that were doing kufr. Who were doing the kufr? The elite. Who were the ones that were فَلَمَّا حَسَّ عِيسَ مِنْهُمُ الْكُفْرَ When Isa felt kufr from them. From who? From the elite. Who were they? They were the ones that wanted to kill him. From Bani Israel as well as the Romans. فَلَمَّا حَسَّ عِيسَ مِنْهُمُ الْكُفْرِ قَالَ مَنْ أَنْصَارِ إِلَى اللَّهِ That's when Isa said, okay, we have to get ready to help the cause of Allah. This is not the discussion. But the point is, the messengers of Allah confronted the leaders of their time. Right? They confronted the leaders of their time. And you may also remember in the time of Talut, when they wanted to do jihad, they went to the Prophet. And the Prophet said to the elite, Hey, okay, if I appoint the Prophet, you better like listen to him. So, whenever the Prophets went, whether the leadership was Muslim or the leadership was non-Muslim, if they were not themselves the leaders, like Daud wasalam, or Suleiman wasalam, if they were, they were confronting the leadership of the time. And so, in Akhir zaman in the last, in, so in generally and specifically in the end of times, the Prophet talks about the foolish leaders that will lead the Muslims. Let me share with you, and you know, what the Prophet said about leaders is one thing, but what is more important is what you will hear the Prophet said about me and you. What the Prophet said about me and you and implied about you and me, that is more important. So, the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Inna sayati ala nasi sununun khadda'atun. There will be many years that will come upon the people. And here, perhaps, a nas doesn't only mean Muslims because it will be a globalized world in the end of times and what will be said to the people will include the Muslims but Allah knows best. <inaudible> will be many, many years of deception. Sunun, when you say it like this, means many years of khada'atun, of deception. Deception upon deception. What will happen in there? People will master the art of trickery and treachery. يُصْدِقُ فِيهَا kadhib. When the people will believe in the liar. When the people will believe in the liar. So the art of treachery, deception, will be mastered. خَدَعَةٌ يُسْدِقُ فِيهَا الْكَاذِبُ وَيُكَذِّبُ فِيهَا السَّادِقُ And people will make a lie out of the truthful one, will mock the truthful one. يُؤْمِن فِيهَا خَائِن People will believe the deceptive person, the person who does deception, they'll believe in him. وَيُخَوِّئُنَّ and they will call the person who is trustworthy, he's the one who is deception. He's lying. So what will be wrong with the people? Obviously you have to ask as, the, as you will see the companions of the Prophet ﷺ asked. What will be wrong with the people that they're going to be so silly? That they're going to be so stupid? 
that they're going to lose their intellect. <coughs> They'll follow such leaders. So you'll see what the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But the Prophet continues to talk about the leaders. Yantiqu fiha ruwa bidatun. These people the Prophet titled ruwa bidah. These people will be the ones who will have the microphone. They will be the ones that will be talking. They will be laying out the logic, the mantiq, yuntiqu fiha. They will be the ones that will be talking. So obviously, this word, ruwa bidatun, nobody understood what was exactly meant by that. So qila, it was said to the Prophet Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ma ruwa bidatu, what is ruwa bidatu? Who are they? Qala safihu. These are foolish people. Yatakallamu fi amri al-ammah. Foolish people who will talk about the general matters of the Muslims, the general matters of the people. These people will have the control of the public affairs and they will talk and they will be deceptive when will this be as you will see in a little bit this will be towards the end of times i ask you does bill gates not fit this does this uh this uh what's this person that was in charge of the whole covid thing uh dr fauci or whatever does he not fit this People believe him and trust him and people believe in Bill Gates and people believe in the Muslim leaders and their visions that they give and they are so devoid of intellect that they believe in them. Why are we so devoid of intellect? We will come to that. But the Prophet criticized these people, these leaders as fools who will be deceptive and treacherous upon the Muslims and will fool the common masses and will speak on the matters of the public masses and the matters of the, of the people as if they know what they're talking about. But the Prophet said, no, they're just deceiving you. Well, why would they want to deceive you? I wonder if they all had some business interest, dunya, you know, dunya. Have you read Stulkaf? There might be an indication there. Let's continue to the next. So number one, I want to share you with you clearly the Prophet not only condemns the leadership but also condemns them with a label in an authentic narration, by the way. <clears throat> now let me show you another narration. This narration even Albani calls it Hassan. What more do you want? Sayati alannas. Soon there will come a time upon humanity, upon people. Sanawatun, many years. Khada'atun, yusdiqu fiha al kadhib. They will confirm the truthfulness of the liar. Wa yukadhibu fiha sadiq. And they will make a lie of the person who's telling the truth. Some scholar is saying, no, the country needs to do this. We need real money. We need in money that has intrinsic value. Oh, no, no. Who is he? He doesn't know what he's talking about. And the other one who is a liar, is treacherous, is saying, no, we need more interest loans from IMF to save us. Sayati ala nasi sanawatun khada'atun Many years of deception yusdiqu fi hal kathim In that time, the liar will be trusted, will be believed. وَيُكَذِّبُ uh, فِيهَا الصَّادِقِ And the one who's telling the truth will be ignored and belied up and made fun of and written articles about. What is this guy talking about? He has, he has no mind. فِيهَا خَائِنُ And in it, وَيُؤْمِنُ فِيهَا الْخَائِنُ and they will trust the one who's actually deceiving them. Deceiving them for what? 
What is his agenda? His agenda might be business, money. وَيُخَوِّنُ فِيهَا الْأَمِينَ And they will say, no, no, this this person, why is, you know, he and uh, his little group of followers uh, always, uh, you know, trying to do th- good, supposedly good things? Why is he acting so holy? Why is he acting so good? He must have some deceptive motives behind him. But if you're on the TV and you got a tie in a suit, then what? You're not seen as the one who's deceiving people. No matter how many times you've deceived people. Yantiqu fiha. They will be given the microphone. Who? The ruwaybadatu. These people, the Prophet called ruwaybadatu. It was said to the Prophet ﷺ, Who are these people? The Prophet now said, Arrajulu tafahu fi amril amril amma. The one who has control, control of the affair of the people. Tell me, is not the Prophet criticizing the leadership? But the Prophet is also criticizing me and you. Ittaqu farasatul mu'min. Fear the insight of the believer. Why? Because when there are people that have insight to the world and they're not attached to dunya, they're not easily fooled. When they're not attached to dunya, they're not easily fooled. And as every leader comes and promises better dunya, better, better change every time the word change is used in election. Right? We're going to bring a better world, more employment, more jobs, more this, you know. We all want change. Change for what? Change for dunya. And so the politicians fool you because why? There's no nur. People don't have insight, so they fall deception. They fall into deception. Not one time, many times. Mu'min can fall into deception once. How can he fall into deception multiple times? Because he's lost the nur. Because he believes in the promises made by these elite. Because he believes in the promises made by these elite, and he doesn't believe in the promises made by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa But let's see what else the Prophet said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and this hadith is sahih, يَخْرُجُوا فِي آخِرِ zaman will come out at the end of times, قَوْمًا أَحْدَاسُ asnan. People who will be only of a few years, young people like Muhammad bin Salman, Sufaha'ul Ahlam, perfectly describes him. A foolish man full of dreams. He wants to change Saudi Arabia for the better. Let's leave Islam and come to the modern world. Let's leave con- conservatism, conservatism and traditionalism and let's go towards liberalism. Dreams of a city made mostly of robots. A smart city. What did the Prophet say? يَقْرَعُونَ Quran bi بِأَلْسِنَتِهِمْ They read Quran with their tongues. لَا يُجَاوِزُ تَرَاقِيهِمْ And it will not leave their collarbone. They'll just read Quran and say Islam just on the outside. But it's not, it's not internalized. It's just external. يَقُولُونَ مِنْ قَوْلِ الْخَيْرِ الْبَرِيَّةِ and they will talk like they're the best of the people, the most sincere of the people. People without nur will be very impressed. People that are not enlightened. And then the Prophet says, يَمْرُقُونَ مِنَ الدِّينِ كَمَا يَمْرِقُ السِّحْمُ مِنَ الرَّمِّ They come out of the deen just like an arrow comes out of the bow. 
What did the Prophet say about these people? فَمَنْ لَقِيَ هِمْ فَمَنْ لَقِيَ هُمْ Whoever meets them فَلْيُقْتُلُهُمْ Let him kill them. This is in what? فِي الْآخِرِ zaman. So there will come such a time. فَإِن فَإِنَّ فِي قَتْلِهِمْ أَجْرًا عَظِيمًا For in their killing will be a great reward. In their killing will be a great reward. In the Allahi man qatalahum, the one who has killed them. Okay, so there will be a time where these leaders will continue to leave, lead when even the nation states fall. And I won't go into that right now, but I'm going to read to you another narration of the Prophet ﷺ. يَخْرُجُ فِي آخِرِ الزَّمَانِ قَوْمًا أَحْدَاسُ الْأَسْنَانِ Same thing. There will come at the end of times young men, سُفْحَاءَ الْأَحْلَامِ With dreams, but foolish. يَقُولُونَ مِنْ خَيْرِ الْقَوْلِ الْبَرِيَةِ And they will speak the best of the languages to the people to fool them. لَا يُجَاوِزُ إِمَانَهُمْ حَنَاجِرَهُمْ Their iman will not leave their throats. فَأَيْ فَأَيْنَمَا لَقِيْتُمُوهُمْ فَاقْتُلُوهُمْ Wherever you meet them, kill them. فَإِنَّ فِي قَتْلِهِمْ أَجْلًا لِمَنْ قَتَلَهُمْ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ Indeed, in killing them, there's a reward in the Day of Judgment. So, what is the lesson here? Of course, the Prophet criticized leadership. It becomes even more clear. So in one narration, the Prophet's talking about a time where people will believe in who? In the liar and the deceiver. And the people will be fooled. And then the Prophet's talking about another time that there will be deception will continue, but now Muslims will begin to have an upper hand. And the Prophet said, get rid of the cancer. Now that you have power, get rid of the cancer. I will be talking more about that at another time. This narration of the Prophet, I'm going to be dedicating a whole video to the different smaller types of Dajjal and their different groupings within the Ummah and outside the Ummah at another time. But today I'm just going to read this narration on Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. the Prophet Nabi Muhammad said, Yakunu fi akhir zaman There will be in the end of times, Dajjalun al Dajjalun al uh, there will be many, many in the end of times, liars, deceivers. There will be Dijal. They will appear to be one thing, but they'll actually be something else. They will come to you with news and information. Things that you never heard before. Everything, oh, this is the new, latest, greatest ideas. And your forefathers would have never heard these ideas. Beware of them, beware of them. They will lead you astray and they will put you in fitna. They will put you in, they're not going to take, make things good for you. They're going to make things bad for you. So, for those who say, that the Prophet didn't criticize, or the Prophet said, don't criticize the leadership. What is this? This criticism, especially in Akhiru Zaman, especially of the leaders of the Muslims in Akhiru Zaman, this is clear criticism. But it becomes more clear, inshallah. What can be more silly, stupid, and foolish? Tell me. Then, Muslims killing Muslims, right? What can be more foolish than that? It's clearly, if Muslims are killing Muslims, they must have lost their brains. And that is when these fools will lead us and the fools will follow. And the Quran paints a very dangerous picture of that on the Day of Judgment. That when the followers follow the leader who's taking him in the wrong way, 
And they will say, well, we were just only following, the Qur'an says. And Allah will say, what? This is not an excuse on the Day of Judgment. First, let's look at this narration. Then we will look at the ayah of the Qur'an that is discussing this issue. This is hadith narrated by Abu Musa Ashari radiallahu anhu haddathna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inna bayna yaday is-sa'a the harj. Indeed, between now and the time of the Prophet, meaning time of the day of judgment, the sa'a, the harj, there is the harj, the killing of people. فَقُلْتُ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ مَا الْحَرْجِ What is harj? Al-qatl. فَقَالَ بَعْدُ الْمُسْلِمِينَ يَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ So the Prophet said killing. So some of the Muslims said, Ya Rasulullah, inna naqtul al-an fi aami wahida min al-mushrikeen, kada wa kada. And so they, they asked the Prophet, like, is this like killing the mushrikeen? The Prophet responded, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, laysa bi qatl al-mushrikeen. No, this is not the killing of the mushrikeen. Walakin yaqtulu ba'dukum ba'da. But you Muslims will be killing one another. Until a Muslim will kill his neighbor. Because perhaps he will not have food. Aw ibn Ammi. Or the son of his uncle. Aw dhal qaraba. Or someone of his relatives. He'll kill them to, to survive. فَقَالَ بَعْضُ الْقَوْمِ So some of the companions said, يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ مَعْنَا أَقُولْ لَنَا ذَلِكَ الْيَوْمِ Will we not have our brains that day? فَقَالَ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ لَا No. يَنْزَعُوا أَقُولُ أَكْثَرَ He said that brains will have vanished that day for the majority. ذَلِكَ زَمَان On that time, in that zaman, in that time, most of the brains will be dead. And what will happen? يَخْلُفُ لَهُ حَبَاءً مِّنَ النَّاسِ And what will be left, you know, because people, uh, people, what will be left in terms of leadership will be people who have no brains. لَا أَقُولَ لَهُمْ They will have no aql at all. So what does this mean? Leadership has no brains. And the followers also have no brain. We will come to this verse of the Qur'an in a little bit, inshallah. Next narration of the Prophet, Anna Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala lil Ka'ab bin Ujar. So the Prophet said to Ka'ab bin Ujar, A'udhu billahi min amarathi sufaha I seek Allah's refuge from the leadership of the fools. So he said, so the companion the Prophet said, What is the leadership of the fools? He said, There will be people after me, they will not give guidance according to my guidance and will not hold on to the sunnah of, of mine sunnah. فَمَنْ صَدَقَهُمْ بِكِذْبِهِمْ وَعَانَهُمْ Whoever confirms them, though he's my leader or accepts him, and accepts their lies, وَعَانَهُمْ عَلَىٰ ظُلْمِهِمْ And whoever helps them in their treachery, in their oppression, أُولَئِكَ لَيْسَ مِنِّي وَلَسْتُ مِنْهُ I'm not of them and they're not of me. They're not part of me and I'm not part of them. وَلَا يُرُدُّونَ عَلَيَّ حَوْدِي And they will not be brought to me to my حَوْد, my Gothar. وَمَنْ لَمْ يُصْدِقْهُمْ And whoever does not confer, accept them as his leaders, uh, be him because of their lies, with their lies, okay? وَلَمْ يَعْهُمْ يُعَيِّنُهُمْ وَلَمْ يُعَيِّنُهُمْ And he doesn't help them. عَلَىٰ ظُلْمِهِمْ Over their oppression. فَأُولَئِكَ مِنِّي Then they are with me and I am with them. سَيْرُدُّونَ عَلَيَّ حَوْدِي They will be brought to me on the Hawd. Uh, and then the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ continues, O Kama Qala So the last one I want to uh, finish with is this very long narration of the Prophet ﷺ. Maybe I'll mention it at another time. But uh, I think I'll, I'll finish here for today and then I'll mention the verses of the Quran at another time. 
But the real lesson here for me and you is that the leaders are stupid and we don't accept them. We don't confirm them and we, we will not support them in their unjust causes because we hope to be with the Prophet ﷺ. But the bigger issue is, are me and you or our people so dumb that they fall for them, that we have no nur because we don't pray? We love dunya so much that we can't see beyond the appearance of things? Are we so dumb that we believe in whoever will come up with whatever new business idea to make money, like there's such a thing as COVID or you know, whatever, to fool the world and think that, oh, these people know what they're talking about. Have we really gotten that mad that we don't see that the Prophet said, beware of leaders at that time? Which other leaders is he talking? The, the, oh, the casting of the shadow of the Day of Judgment's already happened. Look at the clock tower. If not n now, then when is this being talked about? Now, let me show you this very, very authentic hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu narrated by Hudayfa bin Yaman about the end of times and the type of leaders that there will be an, at the end of times, right? So the Prophet said, Hudayfa bin Yaman says, كان الناس يسألون رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عن الخير وكنت أسأل عن الشر. The people used to ask the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم about the good things. I I I was worried about the evil things, so I asked to ask about that. مخافة أن يدركني because I used to fear that they would overtake me. فقلت يا رسول الله. So I said, O Messenger of Allah, إن كنا في جاهلية. Neither these are different stages of history. Now we were in جاهلية, so. And then what happened? Was shar and evil. So Allah came to us with this good of Islam. So is there any evil after this? So you know you have prophethood and then you have khilafah. So this is the good. But after that the khilafah changed into kingship. So he said, Is there any evil after this? The Prophet said, Yes. That the goodness of Khilafah will go away and it will be replaced by something else. That evil will be replaced with something else. فَقُلْتُ هَلْ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ شَرْ مِنَ الْخَيْرِ Is there any good after that evil? He said, نَعْمْ وَفِيهِ دَخْنُنْ But there, it will be tainted. Okay, The shar was the days where Abdullah bin Zubair, Hussein radiallahu an, Hassan radiallahu an, and the companions of the Prophet were killed the whole situation around that. That's the evil. Okay. Then something good came, but it's not perfectly good. It's tainted. Okay. So that's the, the Umayyad and the Abbasids and the Ottomans and the Mughals and the Safwids and then, you know, the different empires we had. Okay. So the Prophet uh, said, Naam, fi hi dakhn. In it will be taint. It'll be tainted. It's not really Islam. Fakultu ma dakhnuhu. What will be its taint? Hudayfa bin Yaman asks, yahduna, The Prophet replies, وسلم, yahduna hadi'i. People will be guiding to something other than my guidance. Minhum wa tunkar. Some things you'll recognize and other things you will dislike that they did. But overall, it will not be exactly according to my guidance. It'll be tainted. فقل, فقلتو, so I said, after this khair of this tainted khair, you can say, is there anything more worse than that? Naam. The Prophet said, yes. Da'atun. People inviting. Openly inviting. Ila abwabi jahannam. To the doors of the hellfire. People will be openly. Now this won't be tainted. This won't be like something good mixed with something bad. No. This will be an open arms come to the hellfire. Okay? Da'atun ila abwabi jahannam. Man ajabahum ilayhi. Whoever responds to them, in that he will be thrown. Okay? Faqultu ya Rasulullah, sifhum lana. O Prophet of Allah, describe them to us. The Prophet then describes them. Hum min jildatuna. They'll be from our our skin. وَيَتَكَلَّمُونَ بِأَلْسِنَتِنَا And they will be talking our language. فَقُلْتُ مَا تَعْمُرُنِي إِنْ أَدْرَكَنِي ذَلِكَ So Hudayfa asks, what do you command me to do if that happens? People calling to the hellfire. 
Well, you better be clear where your allegiance is. So the Prophet tells him, Iltazim jama' al-Muslimin, be with the jama' of the Muslims. Do you have an emir? Do you have a jama'? Do you have an imam? Give your oath of allegiance to him so that you'll be able to free yourself from the nation-state alliances on the Day of Judgment. Iltazim jama' al-Muslimin wa imamuhum faqultu فَإِنْ لَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُمْ جَمَعَةً What if there's no jama' of Muslims? وَلَا imam nor any imam to be with. قَالَ اِعْتَزِلْ تِلْكَ الْفِرَقْ كُلُّهَا Leave all these groups then, all of them, وَلَوْ أَنْ تَعَدَّ بِأَصْلِ الشَّدَرِ Even if you have to bite on the roots of the tree. حَتَّى يُدْرِكَ الْمَوْتُ وَأَنْتَ عَلَى ذَلِكَ Until death comes over you and you're upon that. So this is a deep criticism of the leadership throughout Muslim history. Now, let me show you some parts of the Quran on this subject. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ba'da a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim says, Iz tabarra'a al-lazina tab'u min al-lazina tab'u. When those, Iz tabarra'a al-lazina tubi'u, those that were followed, that were being followed, will declare innocence from the people that were following them. Right? Is tabar al ladina tubi'u min al ladina taba'u wa wara'u al adab. And behind them will be the punishment. Wa qata'at bihim al asbab. And all resources are cut from them. And now when they see all these followers are coming, they're like, no, no, we have nothing to do with these followers. We have nothing to do with this. Qala al ladina taba'u. Those that were following them then will say on that day, Lo anna lana karratun fatabarra'u minhum kama tabarra'u minna. That we wish we can go back and we would declare our innocence from you the way you're running away from us and saying we have nothing to do with you. We wish we did that in dunya from you. وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ تَبَعُوا لَوْ أَنَّ لَنَا كَرَّةٌ فَتَبَرَّأُوا مِنْهُمْ كَمَا تَبَرَّأُوا مِنَّا كَذَلِكَ يُرِيهِمُ اللَّهُ أَعْمَالَهُمْ حَصَرَاتٍ عَلَيْهِمْ This is how Allah will show them their deeds as a hasra. Oh my God. What did I do? Like the feeling of absolute regret. And all of them go to the hellfire. Those that were following and those that were followed. Where is your allegiance? Is your allegiance to Allah? Are you praying five times a day? Or are you just following the trends of society of the, the nation state system that we have? You know? And so let me now share with you another part of the Quran, those people that uh, save themselves, okay, those people that uh, save themselves from, uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the people that were weak on earth, Allah says, in, in anfusahum. When the angels come to take the soul of those who have wronged themselves, why? Because they didn't make the hijrah. They didn't make their allegiance. قَالُوا فِي مَا كُنْتُمْ It will be said to them, What were you doing? قَالُوا كُنَّا مُسْتَدْعَفِينَ فِي الْأَرْضِ We were weak on earth. We couldn't do anything. قَالُوا أَلَمْ يَكُنْ أَرْضُ اللَّهِ وَاسِئَةٌ فَهَاجِرُوا فِيهَا Was the earth of Allah not wide enough that you do hijrah in it and then you can establish your own justice rather than being part of some injustice? فَأُولَئِكَ مَأْوَاهُمْ جَهَنَّمْ Such people, their ending is the hellfire. وَسَأَتْ مُصِيرًا What an evil ending it is. Okay? And if you do what you're supposed to do, then Allah has such beautiful words. As Allah says, وَالَّذِينَ حَاجَرُوا فِي اللَّهِ Those people who did hijrah for the sake of Allah. مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا ظُلِمُوا After they were oppressed, after they were wronged, after they were being forced to do things that they shouldn't, they would, that, then Allah says, we will grant them a good place in this world, right? And the reward in the hereafter is even bigger than that. If they did, but no. So the point here is, it's not enough to criticize leaders. The Prophet did that. But are you being fooled by them? Are you being fooled by your society and the micro-trends and, and, the, and the, 
and everything is the nur. Do you have the nur to see the ghul? To see the deception? To see the khiyana? To see the treachery that's happening? Do you have the nur? Are you reading Quran every day? Are you doing your prayers every day? Are you with the jama'ah? Are you getting ready for hijrah? These are important questions. It's not, you know, group therapy. People sitting together, a bunch of people. A lot of time you go to parties, you see this. A group of uh, people sitting together and talking about politics and talking about the world and politics and news and how they think everything is so bad. You're not part of the solution if you're not praying, if you're not reading Quran every day, if you're not part of a jama'ah, if you're not getting ready for hijrah, if you're not if you're not doing these things, you're not part of the solution. So inshallah ta'ala over here I'll end. They see the Day of Judgment far off away. No, it's very near. The signs have become apparent. Wake up. Wake up. Inshallah ta'ala, may Allah wake us up. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ramadan is coming. And so, I want to offer uh, all of uh, my subscribers, my listeners, my students, <coughs> a chance to participate in something really amazing. As you know, we have a very amazing community where we are. We are in a place where there's about a three to five mile radius of of dominantly Muslims. And particularly in that, Jami Masjid plays a central role, the masjid that we're part of. And of course, we're getting ready for Akhiru Zaman. Uh, and so that doesn't come for free. Um, so let me share with you uh, some of the activities that we've been doing, some of the da'wah work we've been doing. Hopefully, inshallah ta'ala, you will uh, appreciate what we're doing. And then I have something to request from you. So inshallah, this is the opportunity we have. You can turn your $30, $1 a day in Ramadan into $130 because LaunchGood is offering us that for anyone who gives us $1 a day, $1 a day in, during the month of Ramadan, they'll make it into $130 for us. So LaunchGood is matching $100 for every donor who signs up for their daily Ramadan giving challenge. Just sign up to donate $1 per day to give fun to to our fundraiser and launch good will give us an automatic a hundred dollars there's no uh you know catch so you go to the link that'll be on the comment section or the description which will be launchgood.com slash team jammy buffalo okay 
and then you press on the white button which I'm going to show you and you sign in uh, the amount it literally takes two minutes to do the whole process and that's it your $30 donation will net us an extra hundred dollars so you're g getting a lot more because you're helping uh, us get the re uh, the the finance in this world but you will reap the benefit in this world as well as the next world now let me just show you this is the launch good website uh, when you click on our link it'll take you to this page okay and over here you can kind of see the uh people that just signed up okay these are some of the people uh that just signed up 359 joined today alhamdulillah uh we're competing against some of the bigger organizations and some of the bigger well-known speakers but you can schedule your giving by clicking on this white uh area here and you can put set your amount for one dollar for every $30, it's going to be $130. So you can bring this down to $1 a day during the month of Ramadan. Okay. And you click next. And uh, <clears throat> and so please definitely do that. Okay. So please do that. The other thing I want to say is that uh, we're a very active community. If you are someone who's serious, has a family, who's worried about Akhiru Zaman, and wants a, to be in a masjid that's strong in da'wah, strong on helping the youth, as you saw from the video. If you're someone who wants to be a, in a place where you can study the deen on a daily basis. If you want to be in a place that's getting ready for akhir zaman Then, definitely consider moving to our community in Buffalo. <clears throat> so, with that, I will end. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.